All right, when we first plug in the board and there are no shorts, uh, I turn it up to 12 volts and then I check for 3.3 right here. And then five volts right here. Now, if those are good, I go ahead and check that the 3.3 is coming to all the controllers. Test point right there. Super simple and easy. So if we got 3.3 here, we got five, then we should have 3.3 um, on the controller chips. Now if you have 3.3 here and none on the chips, then you probably have a problem with this resistor. Sorry, it's tiny right there. There's re this resistor here is responsible for bringing in the 3.3 volts to the IC chip and this over here just the test point. All right so this board here had no 3.3 volts which turns on the controllers for the MOSFETs so if you are getting no voltage on the MOSFETs when it's supposed to turn on check your 3.3 and 5 volt rails. So this one's gonna specifically be on the 3.3 so uh, right here is a chip. Well, let me change the color so you can see it. Right here is a chip that controls the 3.3 or makes a 3.3. So right here, first check, there should be 12 volts on that pin. This one's ground. I'm gonna make a better G. That one's ground. So, and this one here is the switch output, which is the voltage output. That should be the 3.3 volts. And then right here is an enable. This is the one you need to pay attention to. So enable should be, I think, five volts around there. So first check if you have 12 volts, then go to um, your input here, and or your enable pin right here, and then, um, Check if there's any voltage there. So if you have voltage on the uh, enable and you have a uh, voltage in the 12 volt, you should have 3.3 out. Let me switch over to the back of the board. All right, this is the back of the board that connects to that chip. So if you do not, let's switch back over. If you do not have your uh, enable pin, uh, voltage on the enable pin, flip to the back of the board and check this resistor here. This one here, hold on. So this resistor here is what enables the um, chip. So we ha should have 12 volts coming in off here and then should be, I think, like I said, I think it's five volts that, uh, be that it should step it down to. So because they, it just enables it, it doesn't like you're not drawing power through here, but just the resistance on the resistor should step it down to about five volts. So that's the thing you need to check when you do not have enable, because that's the only thing that enables it right there. And then if we go back to the front of the board, you should again have five volts ish around there. And then you should have 12 volts coming in and 3.3 volts comes out of the center pin here. Be careful not to uh, when you're testing it, try not to touch these two pins because it will just blow this chip up. So just be careful there. So if you're getting 3.3 there, it's all connected to this um, choke or whatever you want to call it, filter, and then uh, to these capacitors here. So it's directly attached right to there. So you should get 3.3 if you have 3.3 on this leg here. And then these are, this one here is your feedback. So if you're getting weird voltages, test that. And this one's just a boot strap, which I don't think that affects too much. So if you are missing the 3.3, uh, but you have both five volt and 12 volt coming in, your enable and your 12 volt, your input voltage, 
then the chip is most likely bad and that's when you go ahead and change it out. So I'm going to show you changing one out. It's teeny tiny. It looks big in this picture, but it is teeny tiny. It can be a pain to change. Now these chips are readily available pretty much anywhere, so easy to buy. I'll leave the um, uh, part number down in the description if you need it. Switch over to the microscope. All right, now that we have that changed out, we've got 12 volts coming in. I'm gonna move over here to the test point for the 3.3. Right here. And do we have 3.3? Yes, we have 3.3. All right, now that we have our 3.3 volts back, we can go ahead and plug it in. And we're gonna short these two pins here and that will turn on these MOSFETs. And then we can test for 0.78 volts and on each rail here and go from there. So uh, hopefully this was helpful to someone, maybe one of five people in the world, but um, hope this helps. I will see you next time.